is something that happened to me. It's just a little story, but uh, you know, some years ago at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, the biggest arts festival in the world, and I went for the very first time with a solo show that I had uh, put together about my time as a tour guide in Rome called Roman Around. The year was uh, 2011, and <clears throat> I was up there for a week and just totally overwhelmed with all the newness and the, the, the crowds and just how much stuff was going on and it was just the most thrilling thing. My show had gotten some nice reviews and these had come in after I had printed up all my flyers. So what I would do is every morning I would go to Fringe Central and I would uh, print out and then cut up and the reviews and then staple them to the flyers and then go out and spend the day handing out flyers before doing my show and then handing out more flyers afterward. And one day when I got to the to Fringe Central it was packed as always and there was a, a journalist there uh, who, who spent most of the time at, at his desk kind of setting up the shows he was going to see. And <clears throat> I had all my papers and was doing my my paper cutting and my stapling and uh, you know I was just take soaking it all in you know all the, the the hustle and the bustle and the you know the that energy of you know people making stuff happen and making art and taking risks and everything and just this the sensory you know the kachunk 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 of the stapler and the, you know all the, the voices and the the printing and the the hubbub and uh, on this particular morning, I, I realized that these snippets of conversation I was hearing uh, were seemed to be connected. So there's this journalist on my on my my right hand side, and then on the other side there was this uh, uh, kind of sweaty uh, producer guy in, in, in a blue polo shirt with you know nine in the morning. He's already got sweat stains underneath, and he's you know working his phone, and you know I, I was like hello, you know hello, uh, and you know, hi, I'm, can I speak with whoever? And, you know, and then it sounds like there's a response and then I can't hear you very well. And then I see the producer kind of shuffle in his seat and turn his head and he's like, is that better? And then I hear the journalist saying, not, not really. And there's this <clears throat> conversation. These two guys are sitting right in front of me and they're trying to have the conversation and they're not able to do it very well because they're on the phone. And the, the journalist is... His body language is just, uh, you know, he's got this journalist on the hook, and he's he's trying to pitch him on his show, but the the, the sound, is, the noises are too much, and everything. And I go over there and I tap him on the shoulder. And he turn, turns away right away from me. He's like, "I'm busy. I'm on the phone." And I'm like, "Yes, with that guy." And uh, I, I managed to get his attention, but he's, you know not pleased and he turns around and I'm like I think you're talking to him and uh, the journalist looks up and they they kind of make eye contact and then they're you know and I'm like you're talking to him and they think I'm kind of I look crazy and I'm certainly I'm you know and I'm in I'm in Britain uh, Great Britain and I'm you know interacting with strangers and it's not something you do but uh, they're, they're like, get on the phone, like, is that guy, is that guy for real? And they're like, yeah, yeah, I, I think so. Is it, you know, we are talking to each other. Yeah, it, it appears that we are. And you know, and they, and they put their, their phones down and, and then they have, proceed to have, you know, an, an, an awkward, a more awkward and, and more embarrassed conversation, though uh, easier to not do it on the phone when you're sitting five feet away from one another. And I sit back and realize that I'm not just an observer here at the uh, the Edinburgh Fringe, but I am uh, I'm, I'm facilitating fringe connections, even though it, it seemed that my uh, my help was not totally appreciated. I, I still knew that I I did the right thing. So that was it. Just a just a small small moment, but uh, it, it popped into my head recently, and I thought, yeah, that was uh, that was funny. Just to see that happen and then be part of it.